Okay, so what you're seeing here is a, um, I guess a, a 3D jigsaw puzzle, if you want to put it that way, um, in the form of a wooden pinball machine. So think of those, you know, plastic arcade pinball machines that you often see that, you know, just have little spring sensors and stuff. But this is, this is way closer to the real thing. Uh, you've got like flippers and they're actually activated by direct cam mechanisms that are actually, you know, really quite complex and cool in the way they're designed. Um, but it's got full light and sound and at the moment it's waiting to launch the ball. So I guess we should probably do that. Plunger is a bit, uh, oops, there we go. So as you can see, like the thing about this thing is like, it's actually got working solenoids for the pot bumpers and everything. It's pretty wild. So there's like the conductive tape on the, um, the solenoids that allows the, the actual signal to go directly to the coil, the five volt coils. You even get like bonus count and everything. So there's no score display, but the uh, the score itself is reflected in the stars on the playfield. So I'll try and make a shot that actually does score. It's uh, obviously zero for the bounce. So it works exactly like those ones. There you go got two actual physical bells on the play field that sort of do ring when the ball hits it. There you go. So there's little, on the ramps, there's like little sensors that are wired into the main control underneath the play field. And as you can see, as you complete certain goals, there's, there's one there. There's another one there. There's one at the back. And there's also one down here in the uh, outlane to detect when the ball's actually drained. You can put up to six balls on this thing, but um, it, it sort of has problems with some detection. But it is just so beautifully put together and so be beautifully built. It doesn't really use any sort of real, um, a lot of the stuff just sort of slots together. So it's like really precision built parts, all obviously done with a CNC laser or something like that. And the thing is just, this is having a bit of trouble launching the ball, here we go. So I'll try and do, oh man. And like pinball, it's still kicking my ass, so. Okay, so I'll try and get it up the, um, man, it's killing me, destroying me. So, all right, let's see where we go here. See if I can get the thing. You can actually do post passing and everything on it as well. Like, check this out. Full on post passing. Yeah, it's pretty rad. Uh, so, obviously it's the, uh, the, the premium or the LE because it's got the uh, invert ramp as well. As you can see, the whole play field dims when you shoot certain ramps and shots. It makes a satisfying ding noise. It does get held up a little bit here and there, but that's normal of this sort of thing. Like, I really, the thing that surprises me the most is the actual pop bumpers. So, you know, as a pinball nerd, right, I know how all these mechanisms work, and... The, the way that those pop bumpers are engineered, like just with direct drive coils, little, like this works off a, a little battery pack. Well, I've got like a, like one of these, right? Just like a regular battery pack, a 5, five amp, 2.5 volt um, battery pack. And that's enough to power it. So, it doesn't take much, which is pretty cool for what this does. And the game sort of ends when you reach 1000, so. See if I can actually get this loop shot. This this shot will score you. The uh, invert lamp ramp will score you like I don't know. I think it's two hundred points or something. Uh, 
And, you know, the strength of the flippers obviously is based on how hard you flip the button because it's like a direct drive sort of cam-based mechanism that powers it. So think, think of all those... There we go. This is the uh, you've done it mode. And this is basically game over. So I basically, I guess, clocked it. Um, and it's now waiting for the ball to drop down now. So it's honestly, the, the satisfying part about this is not the fact that it's like a, a pinball machine, but it's just, there's a lot of detail in this machine. So like, just take a look at like, there's like really intricate woodwork that you actually sort of put together. It's all um, push together wood so it's all like no nails or anything in this bit it's all this friction based push fit technology you've got like really I mean it's just such a, a well built play field like all the numbers are like burnt into the play field and there's like a whole circuit board like almost like node based system down there that's all interconnected um, beneath the play field that actually has all the different you know controls for the lights and everything like that so it is a really <laughs> really really nice functional model i guess and you know if you want to power it it's just a five volt five volt usb um so i mean who doesn't have a, a five volt usb plug lying around somewhere um so you know it's, it's really easy to find a, a plug for it and then just have the thing on in essentially a track mode like this and it just looks really really nice it's a really nice thing to have so you know it is still you know a wooden based sort of pinball machine like you would sort of make yourself out of you know pegs and stuff but there's just a few you know, really cool things on it that make it just a little bit special so like i'm just i'm so lucky that i was given this uh for christmas and um I just want to say it's if you see one um, and you want a challenge of building it, uh, it's really fun to build. And as a pinball head, I know that a lot of the stuff you see in here, like the mechanisms and stuff that are below the play field here, they actually stack up as to how a real pinball machine works. So like, you know, these like photo electric light sensors they got here, they're all like some pinball machines actually use these. So this is all technology that's used in pinball machines today. And just the fact they've been able to miniaturize it in a way that makes sense in this form factor really is a, a, a testament to the ROKR design team. Like it's so cool to actually be able to actually physically flip this and have it feel like pinball, not just a plastic toy that you might get. So it's, it's really good. If you see one, you're a bit of a pinball fan. It's a beautiful work of art that you can have on a, on a counter or a display counter or something like that. It's a point of interest for other pinheads who might visit your house. And, you know, it's actually quite fun just to power on and have a bit of a play. So there you go. The ROKR 3D pinball. Um, worth checking out if you get the opportunity to. All right.